we're gonna get into this Latino Latino brother that they did like you George have moderate Floyd. to severe rheumatoid arthritis and real uh out here in the Bay Area. That's what we're coming with now. Right. So his body cam video shows California man who died after officers pinned him down to the ground for five minutes. Newly released body cam video shows Alameda, California police officers pinning 26 year old Mario Arenales Gonzalez to the ground for five minutes. Gonzalez was pronounced dead shortly after. Police released an hour of footage containing 911 calls and a video from multiple body cameras. Hey, bud. How's it going? Just coming to check on you. Make sure you're okay. Somebody called and said you were. Uh... Maybe not feeling so great. Well, I'm pretty all right. I guess. All right. Okay. What's, what's just that? I think I've been staying here for longest. Really? I don't think we've met before. Okay. Here's the plan. Okay. I gotta identify you, so I know who I'm talking to. No, you don't. No, you don't. He's already lying. The devil is a liar. What state is this in? California. Yeah, you don't have to. Uh... He does not have to identify you. That's a lie. He's lying now. Right. So do we see how their white lies lead to deaths every time, right? Let's keep going. You come up with a plan. No, it's it's Let me know that you're not going to be drinking in our parks over here. Hey, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. And then we can be on our merry way. So we, we can clearly see that this brother is, he has mental issues, right? This is evident. Ten seconds of foot, we, could, we could already tell that, right? And you know what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to call. Let me let me show you who you're supposed to call. Not Ghostbusters. Right? So they have something called a PERT team, right? PERT team are comprised of specially trained police officers and deputies who are paired with mental health professionals. So you're the police agencies are supposed to have teams that have mental health experts that go to calls with them and deal with people, right? PERT, Psychiatric Emergency Response Team. You're supposed to have a PERT team with you, right? Once you see that you're dealing with somebody who has those type of issues. Are you okay? Do you have, you have an ID on you? Yeah, like that. Do you have an ID on you? Clearly this brother's, you know, he's not all there, Right? Automatically, real versus fake. Speak truth, y'all. About Shemia Sharberger, thought about the water. If you can't do that, then I'm gonna have to take you. Okay. What? You you don't have to take him because he doesn't have an ID. That's not a crime. Just keep your hands out of your pockets. This is Mario. Is it Mario? Is it his name? Mario. Yep. So he said, is it Mario? So they're tripping about ID, but the cop knows who it is, right? Mario. So now they have his hand. There's nothing in his pockets because his hand was just in his pocket. Hold on. Now, let's pay attention now because what? wait a minute. His hand was in his pocket, but they're asking him for an ID, right? Is it Mario? Is it Mario? Do you have an ID on you? Do you have an ID? If you can't do that, then I'm going to have to take you. Okay? Just keep your hands. Keep your hands out of your pockets, but you asked me for my ID. Right? See the devil? You asked me for my ID, but I got to keep my hands out of my... How can I get to my ID? Right? So every time I get in the car, take my wallet. Make sure I put it in a place that's very visible. Just in case you get pulled over, grabbing my, I don't got to go on my, grab, it's right here, <laughs> right? You got to be ready for that, unfortunately, right? Hands out of your pockets. This is get your ID, but keep your hands out of your pockets. Was it Mario? Hey, 
What do you have? Sorry. No, it's not that. Okay. No, it wasn't that. What? What? What's the problem here, though? Why? Why is he being treated like this? Now let's go to the California statute. What, what do I Google this so I could I could pull it up? Um, just Google. Do you have to show ID? It's one of the few states where you don't have. To. police in california so number one like the brother just said it's a supreme court ruling which over which is over all of the courts in the whole country um uh, california has no such statute so if you refuse to provide an id while police are detaining you they can't arrest you just for refusing right that's that's the law right okay yet we see them arresting somebody for not producing an id Hey, no. Hey. Stop, 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 stop. No. But he's just this big Mexican. So now he's got to go to the ground, right? He's got to have a warrant. He's got, you know how many times I've been stopped by the cops and they ask, is anybody on probation or parole? And you say no. And they're like, none of you are on probation. No. So none of you, Right. They automatically assume that uh, uh, they this he's a criminal to these people, right? <laughs> Why? Like, two grown you men. Get arm out. So you know, if you wrestle around with anybody, right? Number one, somebody on top of you. You know how draining and exhausting that is, right? How out of breath that's messing with your breathing. Number one. Now, but you got two niggas on you, though, right? <laughs> Mario, put your hand behind your back. Hello. I'm so sorry. All right, what are we going to do? Just keep him pinned down. Can we get the wrapper? Yeah. Just keep him pinned down. What are we going to do? We don't know what we're going to do. Just keep him pinned down. You know, like like they like they did George Floyd. Just keep him pinned down. That's a good idea. Haven't we already seen somebody die because of this? Just keep him pinned down. Go ahead. Well, he's they got him in cuffs now, don't they? No, a, no. At they, this they, point, they, he's not in cuffs. No, they. I don't think they successfully have cuffed him yet. That's what they're trying to do. Hey, watch out! Hey, Mario. <laughs> Mm -hmm. hey. 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 It's okay, Mario. Oh my gosh. We're gonna take care of you, okay? Oh no, he yeah, he's gonna take care of him, all right. I know, but yeah, we could trust you, right? You took care of Montezuma, didn't you? Right? We're gonna take care of you. Okay. Yeah. No, thank you. No. <laughs> this guy, the brother is saying all type of incoherent stuff too at this point. And it has been saying since he initially encountered the cop. Why has there been no mention of the care for his mental health? Not one. But you're going to take care of me, right? All right. Sir, I got it. Thank you. Thank you. Here you go. It's okay. Don't do it. It's okay. What's your name? Mario, what's your last name, Mario? Alberto. You, 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 you hear him panning, but you're going to ask me questions, and I now have to talk to you while your goddamn knee is in my back. You know my lungs are right there, right? You know that I kind of breathe through? What's your birthday? I got you. I got you. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Still a knee in his back. We're okay, okay? We're okay. He's clearly not okay. Mario. Go ahead and go. 
Sam, can you grab the the rat? <laughs> He, he, it's been there. He's clearly having trouble breathing. Clearly. Ah! Hey, Murph. What's your birthday? I don't know. I'm finna die. You talking about birthday? Talk to me, okay? Yeah. What's your birthday, Mario? Okay. I forgive you. Sorry. 1984. What? What month? You hear the way he just said 1984? But I got to trust you to protect me. I've got to trust you when I encounter you, right? My life is no regard. The black and Hispanic life is not regarded. Give me a leopard. What you got? Uh, just a quick point. I mean, it's literally like you got two grown men on them. It's like you somebody asking you questions after if you ever bench press and you're like, you can't go up anymore. Imagine somebody. And then asking, somebody's talking to you. Hey, so, hey, what's when your birthday? I, I, I can about to goddamn drop this bar on my, you know what I'm saying? That's, but he's literally got the bar plus two people on him. Mario. I think I think you just had too much to drink today. That's all. No, I think I got two grown ass men on my goddamn back. I think that's all. Okay. Minding my business in stolen land. Mario, calm down, please. Stop kicking, Mario. Why don't you calm Stop down? It, I'm struggling for my life. Stop. Stop struggling for your life. Just, when, die. When, Just die. No, when you're in this position, these these actions are involuntary. It's survival. You're in survival mode. You're you're just you're just trying to live. You're trying to breathe. The more that you move, the more pressure you're putting in. Exactly. So now you're telling me just to let you kill me at this point. But my body won't just let you kill me. And I've seen, uh, I've seen this first on uh, Sean King's Instagram page. Mm -hmm. and he said that a nurse like replied to the video and was like, the sound that he's making is the sounds of somebody dying. But these people are supposed to be trained. EMTs too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because they, they, ha they have to administer EMT stuff. Right. So how do you not understand that this man is dying? And, and uh, have zero regard. Like you're literally killing this man, and you're so focused on not his life that, like he's some type of serious criminal. He's just a dude that ain't all there that might be drunk in a park. Yeah, that somebody called and said he's out of park. That's cite him, give him a ticket, tell him, or just tell him to hey, hey go down the street, come back here another day. Bro, who can we call to come get you? You see what I'm saying? None of it. Just you know what? Get on the ground, and we you don't have an ID. So you know what? We're going to kill you. Not uh, Being Mexican without an ID equals death, apparently, in Alameda, California. Think we can roll him on the side? Uh, I don't want to lose what I got, man. Okay. Can you grab the wrap out of 111? <laughs> Anybody making Mario, uh, just please stop fighting us. Any, any, anybody making this type of noise for this extended period of time, you know is bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. We have no weight on his chest. You go around there? Now. Uh, no, you do. Your no, no, knee is no, no, still no, no, there. No weight, no weight. Yeah, they say that after he stops. After yeah, but but also no weight on his chest. If if your knee is still here on me, that's still affecting my chest. What are you talking about? Right. They, they waited till he's he's what is it when you stop talking? He's not sitting there. He's unresponsive. Oh, he's unresponsive. Copy. Mario. Nine ten confirmed. No weight on his chest. He gone. That's why. You see that? That's the last <laughs> stitch right there. On the side. I don't want to lose what I got, man. Okay. 
Think we can roll in with side? I don't want to lose what I got. I don't want to not have my knee where it's at. That's what I don't want to do. All right, well, it'll just cost a man his life. He's Mexican, so it's not like it matters. Can you grab the wrap? I don't want to yeah. yeah. Mario, just yeah. please stop fighting us. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We have no weight on his chest. He says it's all right. Now he's gone. No, no. He said he's all right. Now he's dead. No, no, no wait, no wait, no wait. Yeah, you're about five minutes too late, devil. Mario. Mario. Notice all they're doing is slapping his chest too. They're not trying to administer CPR or anything. Yeah, no. Just. Hey, hey, you got a pulse? Oh, now so here's the care, guys. Are you sure? Yeah. Look, look how long they're good, taking to start CPR. Every second of. Oh, is, it, is, it, is there maybe a pulse? Are you sure there's not a pulse? He already concluded. Hold on. Are you sure there's not a pulse? You think it wouldn't hurt to just start CPR? Better safe than sorry? Why ain't nobody breathing in his mouth? You just banging on his chest. What the, what, what's somebody supposed to be doing while they're administering CPR is going to get the um damn bro at every restaurant they're supposed to have like every store so they're supposed to have one. Is it the uh, refib is it fibulated? What, is that what I'm thinking of? They got one in their car. It, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So why that's this they're only supposed to be doing CPR because of not having that there. And once that's there, then they're supposed to administer that. AD, that's what it is. A D and A D. Mm -hmm. Where is that at? And they're just pumping his chest. Where was his breath? You know, y'all was to I don't want to put your mouth on the Mexican man. Cool. See what I'm saying? It's COVID, right? All right. That's cool. You know, but this is the America that y'all want to stay in where this is going to keep happening to blacks and Latinos. It's not going to stop happening to you. Right. We're going to keep having these stories if we don't repent and come back to the most high. It's that simple. This dude just chilling at the park. Right. Now he gone. Straight murder. Same way he went the same way like George Floyd. We just watched a murder on tape, right? So is is it a coincidence that this happens to a so called black person and then a Hispanic person right afterwards, or it just happens the same people we call the the Bible calls the Israelites? Mm -hmm. That just happens too. Where's the where's the so called white man that when that happens? Where where is he getting damn choked to death? Yeah, and, and getting stalled out by the cops. He's pulling guns on the cops. He's stabbing the cop. He he'll do anything to the police, right? If he, hold on, I'm talking about gone with a with a cop holding on there, guys. We well, just God just had a bad day. Just just a he just had a bad day. See that? Somebody said, "Are these cops being convicted?" I doubt they're charged with anything. I doubt the cops are charged with anything, right? This is just horrible. Right? So let's get a just give, give me something on that. Give me something on this, please. Uh, this is uh Baruch chapter four. Yeah, where where are the Asian community? Hey Asians, where y'all gonna come about this? Go ahead. 
uh, Ruth chapter 4, verse 20. No, let's see. Okay, I'll just get this. Brute 4 and 31. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoiced at thy fall. Miserable are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy sons. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. Right, give, give me some one of them killing, please. You mean, what is that? We can't breathe. Scripture to say that. Cannot breathe. We lost our breath. Job 9 and 18. It says, he will not suffer me to take my breath, but fill me with bitterness. And when you read it in the NLT, it says, he will not even let me catch my breath. But that, That's it. You remember when we used to be fighting when we was kids? Or was playing to spoil anything? And like, Man, let me catch myself. Like, let me catch my breath. You know you got to let him catch his breath. You know it. All right, he got to he, he got to catch his breath, man. You know what I'm saying? Let him catch his breath, right? This devil, nah, you can't catch your breath. Die, just die, over an ID, right? Over a whole ID, die. Incredible. Lamentation 4 and 20, that's what I want. That's, that's, that's what I was looking for, too. Lamentation chapter 4, verse uh, 20, it says, The breath of our nostrils, the anointed of the Lord, was taken in their pits. We're the anointed of the Lord, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. But the breath of our nostrils has been taken, right? And who's taken it? Those that have been hunting us for the last 500 years. That's who's taking our breath away and not in a poetic sense and a very literal knee in the back till you're dead sense. Right. But that's what's going on. This this this, this rerun, man. It, it ain't got old to y'all yet. That's my question to, to so-called blacks and Latinos. Has this, has this rerun gotten old yet? It's, it's, we're not over this yet. We, we haven't seen enough of this yet. But the question is, how in the hell are we going to get up out of here? Right? Keeping the commandments of God. That's it. Right? Give me Deuteronomy 30, man. This, this is another situation where a taser would save somebody's life. These crackers, they forget they have a taser. Right? Y'all could have tased them and saved his life. He probably could have lived through that shot. But you're kneeing his back for five minutes. How are you going to live through that? Right? Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse, uh, which one? The curse on there? Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 30 and 7. It says, and the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon you. No, before them. that. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse, uh, starting with 10. And it shall come to pass when all these things shall come upon thee, the blessing and the curse, which mm -hmm. I have said before thee. And thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whither the Lord thy God had driven thee. We've been kicked out of our land of home, which is Israel. Curses have came upon us. Now it's time for us to call these things to mind, that we are these people that this Bible is talking about, because everything that the Most High said would happen to Israelites has happened collectively to blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Right? Keep going. And shall return unto the Lord thy God, uh -huh. and shall obey his voice. We got to return back to the Most High. We have to obey his voice. We have to keep the commandments. Mm -hmm. We have to stop eating shrimp and crab and thinking that's the best ceviche and, and, and uh, uh, what's that damn carnitas and all this madness. It starts with something as simple as that. Stop bowing down to white Jesus. Stop praying to Mary. Stop going to the Catholic Church. Right? 
I am run, Shalom. Right, go ahead. You shall obey his voice according to all that I command this day, thou and thy children, with all thy heart and with all thy soul, mm -hmm. that then the Lord thy God will, will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee. Mm -hmm. That's the only way we're going to get the compassion of the Lord back and get out of this position, out of this captivity, out of this oppression collectively as blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians, right? The only real minorities, the only people that are underrepresented economically, right? underrepresented politically, but overrepresented when it comes to prison and overrepresented when it comes to poverty. Us, right? The only way out of this, read. Shall obey his voice according to all that I command. If we come back to the commandments of God, loving each other, wearing fringes on our clothes like the ancient Aztecs did before the white man gave them a new culture. Right? Read. According to all that I commanded this day, uh -huh. thou and thy children, with all thy heart and with all thy soul. If we come back to the laws of God, the Torah, read. That then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity. Then he'll save us up out of this. We're going to stay oppressed as a people if we don't turn back to the commandments of God. Read. And have compassion upon thee, uh -huh. and will return and gather thee from all the nations whither the Lord thy God have scattered. And he's going to gather us and bring us back home to Israel. Read. If any of thine be driven out. Uh, unto the utmost parts of heaven from thence will the lord thy god gather thee and from thence will he fetch thee uh-huh i'm gonna jump to verse seven it says and the lord thy god will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee which persecuted thee mm -hmm. he's going to put all this stuff that happened to us they're going to have to experience that's what planet of the apes is about all this stuff they've done to us they're going to experience at our hand if we repent and come back to the most high that simple. Sakari. Sakari. We are the children of the one you have. The chosen. Ye are the chosen of the one you have. And he has given his loss to us. Not everything belongs to us. Shalom, what's going on? It's your brother, Chief Priest Allah Zawan Lawyer, aka the Gorilla Hebrew. And I'm just letting y'all know, I just dropped my official clothing line, Urban Gorilla. Go to UrbanGorilla.com right now to check us out, man, and pick something up. There's U-R-B-N-G-R-L-A.com. We got all kind of items for men, women, children, even infants, as well as fragrance oil, smell goods. You can also check out Hebrew is a Light Clothing Co., another Sakari business on Instagram and Facebook. And as always, you can hit up DeaconSakari.com to get your plug on the scars, the music, and the children's Bibles. Thanks for your time. All praise to the Most High. Kwam Yasharala. Shalom.